Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about February 26th, um, League of Legends DFS slate. Um, it's a five-game loaded slate as, as yesterday's. Um, we had a pretty good uh, slate yesterday um, predicting JDG winning, and obviously they had a pretty good kill upside. And um, unfortunately, RNG beat... Um, Thunder Talk, I think it was two to zero. Um, Thunder Talk had a pretty good game. I think RNG just had a you know really good day yesterday. So, um, but we overall we had a pretty good slate. Um, if you had JDG and then Sandbox, I think it was, and so it turned out really well. So hopefully today um, we continue the hot streak. Today we have um, pretty close games, at least based on the odds. So I think it makes a very interesting GPP slate in my opinion i think the ownership will be spread it out uh quite a bit um so yeah without any further ado let's dive in we have fun plus phoenix um a favorite at minus 150 versus lgd and then omg versus ig ig being the favorite and then weibo gaming the favorite in this matchup against lng so these are all very interesting matchups. Um, I don't particularly see any of these teams as like an elite team, maybe LNG, it depends, but maybe Weibo Gaming, but it really depends. They, they've both been up and down and stuff. So um, I think, you know, this is a good, good uh, place and slate where we, you know, compare the metrics and compare our eye tests and see what we come up with for our match prediction. So... I just want to check one thing. Um, these odds that I found were as of 4 p.m. Uh, today. So I want to see if anything has changed. So let's look at that real quick. They were all at minus 150, right? So minus 150, minus 150, minus 150. Yeah, so they remain the same, which makes a very, very interesting GPP display today. Okay. All right. I did some research on the metric, so let's go from there. Um, we have first FPX versus LGD, as mentioned. Um, Hacker is still starting at jungle. Um, you know, if you've seen my videos, you know I'm not a believer in Hacker at jungle. Um, and LGD is really bad, too, and they are starting uh, XQW again in the, in the mid lane. Um, so we'll see how that pans out. But obviously, these are like no-name guys, right? But look at the metrics. You see LGD has better metrics in every single category that I just looked at. So, I mean, just based on the eye test and based on the roster, yeah, I mean, FPX is a better team. But looking at the metrics, I mean, you see LGD is favored in every single one, like key metric that I look at. Which is very surprising. Like I did not see this coming when I looked at the metrics. I thought FPX would have at least one or two metrics that would favor them, but it's all LGD. And you know, if the data tell me and numbers don't lie, you know, I'm gonna probably have to go with LGD. So that's why I have for my match prediction, LGD wins two to zero. Like there's not a single reason from the metric and data driven analysis standpoint that FPX FPX should win. Um, I think if I pick FPX to win, it's going to be solely based on my eye test and just based on looking at the roster. And I don't really like doing that. I think I want to have some sort of basis for my match prediction. So I'm going to go with LGD. And even the jungle position, you see like LGD has a slight advantage there. As bad as Meteor has been, Hacker is that bad. I'm telling you. <laughs> so um care is pretty good for for the mid lane for fpx but that might be a mismatch against xqw but you know overall as a team yeah i mean lgd has better stats so i'm gonna go with lgd but as any of these i mean any of these teams can win except for maybe kongdo freaks in the lck matchup but like we had four matchups at minus 150 basically a toss-up game right so um feel free to play any of these other underdogs that I do not pick or favorites that I do not pick. Um, I think it's going to make a, make for a very interesting slate, but you know, I'm just going to probably to kind of stick to my match predictions and play the winners from, from those. So, all right. OMG versus IG is an interesting one because IG was so hot to start the begin, uh, start the season with, 
but they've kind of cooled down. I think their strength of schedule was really easy um, at the beginning, and then now it's gotten harder. He, they're struggling a little bit. They've hit um, the rock bottom like a couple weeks ago, in my opinion, just looking based on the communications and the videos that I've watched uh, that that were that were posted on the Chinese uh, social media Weibo. Um, but I think they've bounced back a little bit. I think YSKM. His ego has come down a little bit, um, and then Dove, Dove, uh, Dove, I guess, and On. Um, I think there was some feud there between the two when I watched the video there. Um, but I like. I mean, I think a lot of people will like IG today. I think for some reason, um, IG will probably be the most owned team, in my opinion, on the slate. Um, just given that they're a favorite, and given that. People have heard of IG quite a bit um, to start to begin with, how they were so hot. Um, I think LNG will be high owned as well, but they're an underdog. So I think that would reduce the ownership. But I think IG is going to be the highest owned um, team in the LPL today. So I think that makes it an interesting you know, spot to fade IG and then maybe play OMG um, just based on, the, based on the game theory. But um. I think it's a toss up. Like you see the metrics here, jungle control percentage. Actually, Aki has been playing really well at jungle. He's, I mean, it looks like they have an advantage there for OMG. And then at lane control percentage, IG has a slight advantage. And gold spend percentage difference, IG has a pretty good advantage there. And then jungle earn gold, earn golds per minute, um, plus two point one percent in favor of Aki over Gideon. So yeah, I think it's a toss up, right? Like so I think that tells me what do I think just based on the eye test. Um I mean, I'm going to have to go with IG as well. Um I think IG wins 2 to 1, but OMG is definitely a lot of dog. And I think this one um let me see. Yeah, this one is the second. This one has the second highest kill upside um, on the slate. So I think it makes a very good GPP play playing either side of the matchup. But I'm going to have to go with IG. But I think OMG is definitely a live dog um, just based on the eye test. Um, just comparing the the roster, I mean, yeah, Aki has been better, like I said, metric-wise. Shanji, YSKM, I think they're like about a wash. I think YSKM has had a better season so far. As crazy as that sounds over Shanji. Uh, Cream versus Dove, I definitely prefer Cream. Abel versus On. Abel, like when he hits the cylinders, he is really good. He has a really good high kill upside. I mean, a high upside as a player, um, especially at 80 carry position. That is a very important um skill to have in my opinion um so yeah i mean i think omg could win this i don't know like a key cream and able over these three yeah i mean i think the top is what i'm a little concerned about but Like I said, I think OMG is definitely a live dog. It's an interesting one, I think. I, I think I'm just, uh, still toss up. I do like Aki Cream Abel over the account owner parts. But as a team overall, IG has had a better showing. All right, Weibo Gaming versus LNG is the next one. Um, I think Weibo Gaming, yeah, starting the Shy, Shahu, yeah, the same five and the same five for LNG. Okay, I people, some people have asked me why LNG is an underdog here today, and I think this is why. I think it's the bottom lane. Like LP and Hang have been pretty bad. Scout has been really, really good in the mid lane. I think he's definitely been better. He's like I said, he's been one of the best eighty uh, mid laners in the LPL. He's definitely better than Shahu. The split so far, Tarzan over Karsa, in my opinion. 
And then the shy has been struggling. So Zika over the shy. The bottom lane is the only like lane and players that I'm a little worried about. Um, that would this uh that would favor Weibo Gaming. Um, looking at the metrics though, like you see jungle control percentage in favor of LNG for Tarzan. Um, and then the lane control percentage, slight slight advantage for Weibo Gaming, but not very much. But overall, LNG has been a better team. I think they should have been a favorite team, as some people have asked me that. So I'm gonna go with LNG wins two to one. I think the, I think Weibo Gaming can definitely pull one off in the series, but um, I like Tarzan Scout over Karsa Shahu. Bottom lane, uh, should favor uh, the WBG, but overall as a team, LNG has been better, including. Uh, I don't know. Top lane is a wash, I think. But this one, this matchup actually has the highest kill upside. So yeah, feel free to play LNG Weibo Gaming as well. Um, I think I'm gonna have. I think I'm gonna have exposure to both teams due to high kill upside. Okay. All right. In the LCK, it's a little uh, easier. Um, in the between uh, Fred and Breon versus DRX, I did want to point out this one thing. Um, Fred and Breon versus DRX. DRX has some uh, sub risks, like Croco. It should start at jungle, but Juhan might start, so it depends where he may sub in. And then Plieta um, might start again, most likely actually, because Duck Dom has an elbow injury that uh, has prevented him from playing League of Legends. Um, so just given all that all those changes and also Brian just has better odds. <laughs> um I mean better uh, metrics except for jungle control percent, but it's like a minor difference. And who knows like what's that's gonna change all the given the shakeups uh there at jungle position for DRX. I think Freddie Brian having that consistency and continuity um and synergy as a team that has played together for a long time. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with uh, Fred Brian. I'm pretty sure Fred Brian is going to win this. DRX has been probably the worst, uh, if not the you know, top, bottom, bottom two team um, in, in the L LCK, in my opinion. So um, I think Fred Brian, Fred Brian wins, and I, but I do think it's going to be a low kill upside matchup. Um, the next one is really easy um, between KDF versus HLE. Hanwha Life, Hanwha Life should win. Um, but is it going to have a good kill upside? I don't think so. I mean, total over under is set at 19.5. Um, and combined kills per minute is the lowest amongst the five games here tonight. Um, so, but HLE should win looking at the metrics and looking at Clit uh, versus the, the, was it the Young J? Yeah, the jungler. I think Clit, as, as bad as he has been, he is better than Young J. And then Zika Viper over these guys. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to have to go with Hanwha Life. To take care of business today, I think probably on the lower kill upside um, standpoint, they're at 0.57 combined kills per minute for HLE this season so far. So I'm going to have to go with HLE. Um, yeah, so I think, like I said, very close matchups today on the slate. Um, I apologize for not talking as loud today on the video. Um, my son is asleep, trying to go to sleep next door. But if you... Um, I wanted to, I still wanted to get this video out um, around this time, but if you like the video, please, please hit the like button below. Um, it would mean a lot. Um, otherwise, yeah, good luck out there and let me know if you have any questions. Well, bye-bye.